Hey beer lovers, welcome to the Craft Beer Channel and welcome to a slightly hungover Johnny and Brad. This is another madcap post-Patreon scheme uh, to bring out some new playlists and this one is all about how to cure your hangover. With food. With food. Amazing. Brackets. With food. <laughs> um, so Brad and I had a couple of beers last night celebrating myriad things including five years of the Craft Beer Channel. I thought it would be a nice opportunity to try out my ultimate hangover cure. Yeah, this is this is your top tip, isn't it? Yeah. So there's no precise hangover cure other than lots of water, electrolytes, um, carbohydrates to get your blood sugar back up. Yeah. So that's what, well, this is actually born out of comfort food. This is what I used to make when I felt hungover because it's delicious uh -huh. and hearty. Well, that's the thing about food, isn't it? When you're feeling terrible at your worst, you, you, you kind of want to resort back to yeah. something that brings back good memories. And yeah, like beer. Beer, and white beer <laughs> or, or food quite often is, is the one. Absolutely, comfort food. So, you so know, that's what this recipe is. Yeah. Um, so it's it's just turned afternoon. We're starting the day a little bit late, but I thought we'd have a, a, coffee, a coffee tinged beer. There's no coffee in it, but it's no. it's the Colonel's Export Stout, which is actually I think my favourite strong stout. It's a it's a classic, yeah. isn't it? And it does smell like coffee. Yeah, man. Coffee and dark fruits. So Fruity this coffee. recipe. Yeah, go on. It's sort of inspired by lots of different things, like piti peti piti pat. Pan, uh, yeah, my Swedish. Just a Swedish uh, sort of everything in a pan, uh -huh. see what happens. If you're in America, you might call it a hash. Yeah, you might call it a hash. Um, so with all my little, little twists on it. So, uh, we've done all the prep to make this video super quick, super short, because if you're hungover and you're after something, you don't want to watch us prattle on for 20 minutes. No, uh Maybe we're soothing our, our soothing dulcet tones, John. Yeah, like that weird stuff where they put headphones on and people whisper. ASMR. 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 We're like the worst version of that, just I hope you're not getting off, off to this. <laughs> If you are, you've got serious issues. Yeah, go, go speak to somebody. <laughs> so, uh, the main base of this is potato. And potato is a very comforting thing. Not going to argue. Yeah. Bit of pot pot. Potato. So, pot pot. pot. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> um, so, basically, uh, depends on how many people you're serving, but it's basically one big potato per person. Yeah, okay. Then we've sensible. got half an onion per person. Sensible. We've got half a sweet potato per person. Yes. One sweet pepper, those long ones, per person. Long peppers? One egg per person, handful of tomatoes per person, Yeah. and as much chorizo as you dare. So like a good, a good length of chorizo per person. <laughs> a good length of chorizo. Is it the hangovers making us a little bit filthy? So, <laughs> gonna, but this is going to be amazing. All the grease and everything is going to come gonna out. It's going to toss up with all of this as it bakes. Um, Brad sparked up the wood-fired oven because we're that fancy. I know, right? So all that's left to do is add it all in at the right time. So we start with the potato. Yes. If you're not making this in a wood-fired oven, get your oven as hot as it'll go um, and then bang these in. These are going to take the longest. That's why they're going in first, obviously. Yeah. What so, are you putting on there? A little bit of paprika. Yeah, a bit of hot paprika. Nice. Uh, and then salt and then pepper. How on earth does this work? Like it's that. Twisted, Johnny. There we go. Twist and twist a tip. So we, we did a little... Um, uh, survey on Twitter, we asked people what their hangover cures uh -huh. were. Um, I distressingly, I got some slightly lewd replies, mm -hmm. um, but also basically the themes that came out was either I don't want to cook at all, I just want another beer, equally worrying. I, th I think those people are big, they're trying to be bigger than they Do really you reckon? Are. They, haven't, yeah, they haven't really got the gumption. Do you really reach for another beer when you're that hanging? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You're not hanging if you're reaching for another beer. I don't think so. Um, but most people said spice. Spicy, yeah. Carbs and fat. So it's it's all the things that will purge you, isn't it? It'll purge yeah. your very soul. Or, 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 well, yeah, so the heat will purge, the fat will comfort, I think. Yeah. It's a, it's a concoction in your belly, isn't it? Yeah. To, like, kind of get things grokking. So that's all you have to do now to start with. Shove that in. About five, ten minutes at the hottest heat you can do, 250 mm -hmm. ideally, and then we'll add some more ingredients. <laughs> Okay, so you want these potatoes a little bit golden before we're gonna put in the moisture. So once they're getting a nice kind of roasty skin on them. In goes the sweet potato and the onion. So the potatoes are crispy, the onions are cooking down and the sweet potato is starting to get soft. Next it's time for the rest. 
So in goes the chorizo, and that's gonna let out lots more oil, so it looks a bit dry at the moment, but don't you worry about that, that's gonna coat it beautifully. Tomatoes, we've got some that are chopped and some that are whole, so some have burst of freshness, and some just cook down and add to the sauce, and then some lovely, fresh, sweet pepper. Okay, so we're about 10 minutes away from adding our eggs. So at this point, you want to do a last final turn because on those last 10 minutes, you want the top to crisp up nicely. So I'm just going to make sure that everything's coated and all that lovely chorizo we juice. Now we have the finishing touches. And then onto those eggs. A little bit of hot sauce. Final couple of minutes, do not let the yolk cook through. You want it runny. <laughs> it's easy to get up, probably. Hey, so you're telling me you make this hungover? It's yeah. kind of incredible. It's a lot of work. Well, it's super, like the prep's only three or four minutes of chop, 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 chop. Okay. And then it's just adding yeah. it every now and then. True. So you can just put Netflix on and run in every now and then. Okay. And I promise you, it will sort you out. It looks incredible. Unless you're on the verge of death. Um, so yeah, it's best with crusty bread and I like it with a bit of mayo as well, a bit of creaminess, but... It's kind of healthy, isn't it, as well, really? It's point. certainly not unhealthy, yeah, it's not a huge amount of oil. The yeah, yeah. <laughs> chorizo, you know. Well, you know. Chewy's out on that one. Yeah. The churi is the out. The churi's oh, out. Wow. So strong. Mmm. It's good, it's crispy, it's spicy, runny salty, egg. runny egg right there. Such a great little recipe, super easy to do. That's banging. I'd maybe have it a little bit hotter, but it's great. Guys, do let us know what your favorite hangover food is or your hangover recipes, and we might cook them. We've got some user ideas coming. Uh, and in the meantime, drink responsibly-ish and make sure you've got food ready for the next morning. <laughs>